This is a story from a man named Jonathan. Jonathan would like to tell his own little parable. And Jonathan shall, in the people's parables. Well, I believe this was back in 2015 or 2016. My two close friends, Lagana and Cooper, but we just call him Coop for short. So Coop was driving the three of us to see him find where he would have been working the next night for a one-time winter job. See, it does not overly snow often here in Kentucky, or at least where we are. So we were driveling around to local Amazon sites to see which one he would be shoveling the snow from the parking lot, with around 20 to 30 people, if I remember right. And after the first two checks, his Jeep started making a grinding sound. So Coop started to pull over when the Jeep suddenly locked up. Now, I will fully admit, the Jeep was a piece of shit. It was a $500 1986 stick shift Jeep, because everything had to be stick shift. I would make fun of him for it. So I will set the scene for you. It's around 10 p.m. at night, on December, on a stretch of road that is two miles from the closed gas station, on a road that 18-wheelers used to stay the night on. There's no one but us, and our only vehicle is stuck in the middle of the road. Now, this was not the stupid part. My friends were in winter coats and having boots on. I, however, had sneakers, shorts, t-shirt, and I threw on the jacket only. Yes, I am that kind of dumbass. So anyway, we all had a little knowledge of mechanical work and decided to get out to find the problem, so try and fix it ourselves. Well, 20 minutes later, we figured it out. The Jeep's drive shift had jammed, so every tire was jammed. And, well, the best part was that it was jammed in second gear. Now, I was the closest house, which was about five to eight miles away. To some of you, it's not very far, but the only way to get there is to the main road and it's now around 11 p.m. at night in winter. Coop was trying to come up with ideas of moving the Jeep, but all he had was a cousin that has a tow truck. Only problem was that he was asleep and only had it on certain days, which Coop could not remember. So I just threw out, why don't we call 911? They should be able to send the nearest tow truck to help us. And seeing how we could not come up with anything better at the time, we called 911. Now, if I remember right, it was Lagana that was the one to make the call, because he was better at telling good decisions of where we were than uh, me or Coop. And they said they would send over an officer to check us out and take an accident report if needed. So we waited. Twenty-ish minutes later, the cop showed up. It was a younger guy, say late twenties, and asked if everything was okay. And we told him what was wrong with the truck and why we called them which he was okay, no one was hurt. What? No one had wrecked, so he asked for our license. Oh boy. Me and Coop had ours, but Lagana had left his at home. So he told the officer what his name was and where he was living at the time, and this is about when the second officer showed up. No, the officer did not think we were trouble around here, where I am, if there was more than two people, there are to me more than one officer, just in case. What the fuck am I reading? So the officers talk for a minute and decide to take Lagana home while the other officer stays with me, Coop. After talking with the officer for a little while, the tow truck shows up. It's now around midnight. The tow truck guy was okay, came out and told us the price would be about $325. Jesus. Is, is that just me? Is that just really expensive? Coop was flat broke. That's why he took the job that got us here and me and, well, I was not very good at saving money back then, so I only had about $250. So we did not have enough to pay the tow guy, but he was alright with that and even offered the idea of calling his boss to see if we can get a deal. Now, I will say this for the tow guy, he took a getting yelled at pretty well, but I was about five feet from him and I could hear the boss, so he was not very happy, Jesus Christ. So we went over to the officer because he was very puzzled why the vehicle wasn't being towed and told him what the problem was. He was very understanding, but we told him that the boss of the tow service company was not going to budge on the price, so he talked to him and nothing happened. The same screaming match happened again, and so the officer called dispatch and told them the problem, and to send a different tow truck over. So me and Cooper told the tow truck guy the situation. Thanks, M. M. Who the fuck is M? 
There's no one. There's no one with an M in this fucking situation, as far as I have been told, at least. Maybe it's the evil M. Again, for getting up just to do this bullshit, then just go back home and go back to bed. So we told him that we were sorry about 12 times, but it was nice. So we waited again. Around 30 to 40 minutes later, a different tow truck guy showed up, and this one was only going to charge us around 200 bucks. So we were okay. They started hooking it up and getting it on the bed. On the bed, okay. And this is where the next problem came up. Tow truck only had three seats, and there was me, Coop, the driver, and his wife trying to squeeze into his vehicle. So someone was going to be riding in someone's lap. So me and Coop played rock, paper, scissors to find that out, and I can definitively tell you that I lost every time. So I got to ride in the lap. Lab, sorry, in the lab, he made fun of me for weeks after that. This sentence needs a fucking dot. It needs a fucking punctuation mark somewhere in this. Also, whose wife? Did the tow truck driver bring his fucking wife? Why would he do that? Oh boy, I'm getting lightheaded. Alright, let's continue. So we made it to Coop's place, where we are stashing the jeep for now, and then shoved it out of the way. So we were going to jump into his truck. Then the final problem came up, the truck would not start. And yes, I started bitching, because it's now 2.30am in winter, and I'm cold as hell, and the only way for me to get home is not starting. So, you can say I was not happy, but I know nothing gets done if you do nothing. So I bitched for five more minutes, then jumped in to help. <laughs> just bitched for five more minutes, just, just, for, just for good measure. So we looked at it, and this is why some people in Kentucky never buy anything new. Because they know how to jerry-rig door near anything. I don't know what that means, but alright. So it was to my joy and horror later in our friendship. So, 30 minutes later, he rewired the batter. Uh, the batter. <laughs> Do you use fucking cake batter to run the fucking car? So 30 minutes later, he rewired the batter and used a screwdriver to contact to batter. <laughs> to start it and it worked. To engine fired right. <laughs> <laughs> this, this thing's is gonna give me a fucking stroke. And we piled in, and I definitely fired up the heat and told Coop, Coop, please take me the fuck home before my nuts freeze off. He laughed and I laughed some, but mostly curled up as best as I could. So Coop took me home and walked in around 3.30ish in the morning, and wrapped up in a blanket of the rest of the morning. <laughs> Rest in peace, Coop. I'll see you again someday. Oh, shit, he dead? Yeah, I hope not. But considering the fucking text... <laughs> what was this text? Uh, okay. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. This was the first of the People's Parable, a people-submitted story for the $25 patrons. And I'd like to thank Mr. Jonathan for the submission. I've read your text now in fully, and I will never recover. Thank you everyone else so much for watching as well. Please remember to like and subscribe and share the video around as it does help me a lot. And a great thanks goes out to the other patrons as well for submitting their dollars to me. And as a little bit of a special thing for said patrons, check the fucking updates. There's some shit that you might want to actually get in on. Oh yeah, before I fuck off, there's also the stream that's going to be happening on this channel on the 24th of December of this year. A specific time is going to be coming up a little bit later, but that will be then, in a little bit of a announcement video, I suppose you can say. Have a good day.